how money money loves you yeah and uh, it's a great book today i'm not going to go through the complete book list want to give a real glimpse of it yeah um how money of course we know that einstein says right energy is everything energy in everything absolutely and money also is an energy unfortunately the relationship what people have about money has been different so many times when we say what does money want to say to you yeah this is the this is the simple question the author starts with yeah the author is sara sara mekram and uh, she is asking with this simple question what does money want to tell you yeah especially after her uh, you know failure a yeah, big failure in her business in london and uh, she started uh, writing a response to that question to herself as we say in our energy coaching also the art of journaling is about you just pen it down and let that subconscious discuss and go on it automatically you know downloads yeah the same way when the author started writing then she started uh, reading her own response and the response was something unique and different for her and she feels that whatever is coming out while she was writing the responses to this question that what does money want to say to you it was completely different and she was surprised about reading her own responses and then these words started saying as if i would like to tell you that you also love me yeah as if the money is having a conversation with you and the way people have always been looking at money so let me also not say the word as a people right generic way treat it as it's it's completely a one on one right in the session as a book breakthrough as well as a coaching session let us put it that way <clears throat> and then the book is saying when you are answering to the response that you know what does money want to say you and your response goes like this i would like to tell you you also love me it's like this right even in life <clears throat> when you love someone don't you want that love back and then she was really deeply touched yeah and then wanted to explore more about this message okay i think the money is having a great conversation with me and then she went on writing 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 for the next 3 months as we used to do this gratitude exercise yeah journaling uh, we do this divine download same as she started you know seeing that and that kind of collection whatever you know she had it was so surprising for her it was so funny for her it was also offering lot of inspiring advice and she feels that you know some energy is talking to her that money energy is talking to her and then she put together those writings those journal those discussions into this book and it would give a different dimension about the world of money or the way the money looks at us and we look at money it's not exactly covering about so what are the financial system you need to take care and things like that yeah so i'm also reading a summary i'm reviewing the summary while talking to you that was a core message the book wants to say to us rather it's giving lot of insights around how the money energy 
லைக் ஐன்ஸ்டைன் சார் யூனோ எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் எனர்ஜி எனர்ஜி இன் எவ்ரி திங் ஹவு மணி அஸ் அண்ட் எனர்ஜி ஆப்ரேட்ஸ் ஈவன் பியாண்ட் த ஃபிசிக்கல் வேர்ல்ட் ஆர் ஃபிசிக்கல் டைமென்ஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் எனி டைம் யூ திங்க் டாக் ஃபீல் இமேஜின் ஆர் ஆஸ்பயர் அபவுட் மணி how that energy transaction happens energy transfer happens energy transformation happens yeah the market or in the world is infinity there is so much of money already available infinite but depends on the way of our energy level then we'll be able to get aligned with that energy or we don't get aligned with energy that's a very simple thing so let's take a little deeper dive around this book at least at a surface level what money would like to say to you is the first question right so there are certain chapters it talks about uh, you can't control money money will save the world and you want to create a new blueprint for making the money there's a difference between some random plan and a blueprint as you know well building the house or a bigger uh, you know complex they always create a blueprint and which will get approved and uh, you want to just you know get started there might be little minor change here and there but a very very minor change like unless it's really going through a taro understand then all you need to do is give out, give that blueprint to any builder it will be built the same way you don't need to know how it, i mean you don't need to know every element of it but the specification is very well written and then all you have to do is just follow the blueprint and then do it the same way there's a common available blueprint but we want to just create a new blueprint about money then it talks about uh, how to receive money how to understand the real value of it so even while receiving how you really have that energy spirit energy alignment with that money matters even many or all of us would have one or other debt like a house loan or various other things whenever you think about loan how do you think you yeah. know there are of course good debt as well as bad debt right the good debt should always you know help us to grow more to get uh, i mean that's going to really benefit us but if it's not a good debt then it it really drains your energy it's basically it's energy right so is the energy expansion or energy draining and then <clears throat> understanding the true value of the money that support it and there while spending the money how do you think what's the value like you pay money as we say in our energy coaching also money is not equal to wealth but money is an access to the wealth it's a key to the wealth it is something you know you use it to open the unlimited possibilities through that so that means there is some set of energy exchange that's why we say money whenever we talk about money it's a energy exchange and that energy is unlimited energy has some value and your uh, feeling towards that energy 
So with respect to your desire for money, are you really putting yourself into certain limits and how you are asking for money to the divine? Yeah. What is the relationship between money and happiness? Yeah, there are a lot of things. So we want to really get a very clear understanding about money, how it works, right? And what sort of partnership we have with the money? And how th there could be some nature has the law the same way money also has a loss, right? So what are the laws about money? When I think about money, are you really in the relaxed state or in the desperation state or in the worry state? And similar to the water system and the house or even electricity system or other system. So you want to have that flow, but whenever that flow is affected, that means there's something which is blocking, right? The same way, what are your money blocks? And what are the simple and positive way you can solve the problems with money or through money or having that money? How we can really achieve your goal? Is there a way you can really train yourself in making the money? I hope many of you attended last weekend uh, session. We were talking about three M's of money. The first M is about making money. Second M is about maintaining money. Third M is about multiplying money. What are the ways we can really make more money? the right alignment yeah so of course this book is not talking about uh, the strategy and other things much but it's more of your relationship and how we can really develop that kind of you know uh, financial potential which is completely full means each of us are the creators of our own wealth and in agile coaching we have uh, done the deep dive right the in the year-long program also, we have done uh, separate wealth mastery in multiple ways. Yeah. So, we say happy, healthy, harmonious. Wealthy, abundant, and freedom, lifestyle, how we can really live that way. And everything is created with us. Yeah, The happiness is a self-created. Uh, health, self-created through our habits, through the exercises, through the same way. Wealth also can be created through the right way and how we handle these three m's yeah everything depends on how we really upgrade ourselves upgrade our frequency upgrade our energy upgrade align our alignment you know with the money yeah and what are the way we can really quickly shift our frequency to the next level okay, in today's before session we're talking about uh, understanding that emotional frequency how we can really you know do the same way so as I had uh, one insight in uh, yesterday's meditation, I'm just you know sharing uh, because you all are the closer circle. I'm just sharing. See, when it comes to when you invest in happiness, when you invest in enthusiasm, when you invest in energy, when you invest in the self likability. Uh, the self-lovability. In the session before session, we are talking about how we can recreate our affirmation in a way that um, you love and accept myself, I mean, ourself more. And you like yourself. Many times, the simple one uh, affirmation, like, I like myself, which can really shift the game completely. Yeah, And when you invest your time in discharging your negative emotions, when you do more, like when you are investing more in happiness, then more money comes. When you invest in more enthusiasm, that enthusiasm basically you know converts that as an energy, and you do things with a complete alignment, and then you know you get that. So that that way, how we can really shift your money frequency that way, 
you can shift your money level also yeah and what is your morality about money he talks about the sweetness of money like how it comes as a reward it comes as a happiness it comes as a love it comes or improves your uh, state of life and uh, you transfer that money to help people yeah maybe giving the education giving the food giving various other philanthropic ways right so it talks about you know multiple ways and how we can really enjoy the money and what 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 is the kind of you know currency there is one currency the most recent currency is about the attention whenever you don't pay attention then you are already losing that money right something like that the same way even grabbing someone's attention to us also is important for a leader getting the attention and even giving the attention so i will just uh, briefly run through on you know how the book uh, talks about so we one is about the relationship yeah and another one is about how we can have that kind of an you know, empathy thinking from money's perspective of us looking at some an energy how we can really look at it so there are a lot of you know good testimonial about that book i'm reading it at the high level yeah what money would like to tell you i would like to tell you to love me smile at me collect me enjoy me feel my power spend me invest me give me pay with me take me i am an energy i am very powerful and beautiful i am an incredible web of connections i am light i am not dirty you are too afraid of me as you are afraid of many things you can open up and embrace me fully into your life it is not too late you can start now just open yourself just say yes be brave love me love yourself so that you can accept my power my glory my light my beauty i am not a devil i never have been a devil i am a glorious being of light i connect human beings with each other i'm so flexible you can use me to channel your creativity just go ahead i'm waiting for you you must open your heart you're too rigid you're too afraid there's nothing to be afraid of you will win not only me you will win life also i'm always here to help you just accept me and i will come to you very quickly there is a lot of me waiting for you you have chosen to have more don't wait just take me i will love you how do you all feel this some excerpts from the first chapter <clears throat> about how the money is really talking to you i'll just read uh, some passages in between money will save the world money will save the world because there is so much is available it's not limited money can offer you one path to freedom when you stop feeling money is limited and you have enough for everyone and everyone is creating wealth and abundance you will not need to you will not need strict money anymore but you will still exchange material at many different levels for now you only need to know that we are unlimited we are flowing around you all the time we are your system of exchange we are your system of transaction 
that holds your societies together every time you pay someone you create a contract between you that allows you to receive if you can expand the system beyond your current levels to an unlimited level you will develop your creativity your service and you are love beyond any understanding you now possess money is not about ownership it's a fluid of exchange if you keep it to yourself you can neither give nor receive much and that's why you have so little money when you give more you will receive more that's the law we'll share some secret of receiving how we can really understand how money functions when you want to buy something you need to open your heart as we have explained before to allow us to supply you with money we follow the arigato technique here right how many of you are following friends give me one thumbs up like when you spend even 1 rupee 1 dollar you want to whole heartedly be grateful and then create that kind of energy energetic connection with that that arigato 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 is a japanese word which means thank you it's a gratitude so every transaction in every money transaction also you want to have that like you are going with love growing with love and it's always you know coming in multiples whatever you invest you want to set that kind of you know intention in a way that that's going to really make us not break us yeah and people work hard through various ways in every transaction even though you may be paying money for somebody for whatever the service they did but you want to be grateful for that person and because that's the energy which is transformed through that person it's not just money it's an external entity it is part of us and through that medium will be able to get that energy or you will be able to share that energy yeah so one is about how we how close the connection you feel about what you can afford what you can't afford also you think it's not offered because say it's a mind it's a habit within the session deeper session we are talking about how you create that kind of uh, limited thinking limited feeling about it how you really disconnect or disappoint the person next to you like this money as a person if you really see her as an angel or as a divine you want to have a right and greater relationship with that that way like that energy can talk to you elevate you get you to the next level right so sometime we allow a certain amount of delivery to take place and then you get some money or an inferior version of what you wanted but you need to know so sometimes even this uh, i won't say that uh negotiation or even the discount you know people just go behind uh, or you know uh, putting themselves in a very low level and they may be spending money on, on lot of big things but on a simple simple thing they will have a little different uh, view on that for example the service what we get if you can really value that service so much then you won't mind about uh, getting that for example you you lost the key of your house it's very difficult to get inside but once you have the key 
and then you'll be able to have an easy access to that. The same way, how you really respect it, accept it, and then value it in a way that you'd be able to... So sometimes, so one of my friends uh, used to, whenever he goes to a restaurant, he used to first pay the tip. It looks a little strange, right? And in a way that that person will really take the best care of you, not you know, after you leave. And paying tip is not... And you're happy about it. And so heartfully, you're really giving. So the same way, even sometimes, any payment uh, from our side, if we need to do it. Yeah, we want to do it without much delay. Because there's some sort of you know, energy exchange. Basically, it's still like, you know, how you want your money uh, to come to you sooner. The same way, you want to really, you know, pay at the right time. And with the whole abundant way, not like, oh my God, money, my money is going, my energy is going out of me. It's not going out of you. It's a transfer, energy transfer, right? So you pay one energy and you get another energy as a service back and then, you know, getting that. That's what we say, you know, you know even in our energy system, even though that energy exchange is low, don't look at your value that way. Yeah? And look at it as uh, the massive, infinite value. Because somehow, you know, people get into that uh, mode. Uh, that um, The author talks about uh, what thought level you have at the time of spending or buying or even receiving. Even while I'm just giving another example to understand. So when we want to really donate or you know do some philanthropic efforts we don't want to have that ego with us or oh, i did it yeah it's just you know universe is choosing us to do that and then you know we want to be really grateful for that that you know that we were able to be there and uh, not out of ego so even while giving as well as receiving it all right so in the same way looking at our financial commitment do you really appreciate that entire process? Are you feeling cheated? Are you feeling angry? Are you feeling lost? Yeah, all those are having an impact in us. Yeah. Let me just uh, cross through a few other things also. Um, yeah. So our... Uh, Attitude towards money, for example, paying the debt. The debt is not a fear. You don't want to be afraid. You don't need to be worried that you'll never be able to pay that back or uh, you have a fear around it. Or people really think a lot of negative uh, um, I mean, having a lot of you know negativity around it, right? Oh, what if in case if I can't pay, you know, what will happen to it? And, now, all those internal feeling and internal emotions are always, you know, talking with money, basically with that energy. So you want to have that kind of, you know, a courageous feel. You want to have the love feel. You want to have a, a ability to respond feel, not to react feel, right? So you want to take courage in your hands. You want to count up how much you owe. Face up the responsibility. Tell to yourself sincerely that, you would love to repay your debts in full. Don't be afraid that you'll be broke as a result or you will have to live on a that shortage for a long time. The universe doesn't work that way. As soon as you allow yourself to feel that you really would love to repay your debts, opportunities will start showing up. The rewards will start showing up just because you made a decision. Once you make the decision, you'll get more than what you owe. Far more. That's the law of the universe. 
and we don't need to be afraid of the debt any longer and never feel that you can't afford to pay many times people just get into that mode of oh i can't afford this i can't afford this in case if you love it it means so much to you just ask this question by shifting the thing that how can i afford it and how much i love it how much it is important for me in that case your energy level will be completely different and again don't be over ambitious and pay before you can do so comfortably basically that kind of you know transaction want to make it very very easy comfortable so that we will move forward in life and if for example if you want to buy a new house you work for a couple of years or more years to save money so that you can afford at least the deposit and you expend a lot of your own energy in return for that money but you also developed your energy capacity as you gained in capacity and the skill not only in saving money but also in your job you agree friends hi hi so when you have that increase of money it's about increase of value increase of your capacity increase of your uh, greatness in the world so when you exchange the energy that way even spending some money in order to buy something it makes a big difference in the way you are in that process of what you buy because different purchases can be valued in different ways and when you look at the house for example in uh, the mortgage whatever you have whenever you have that energy around that and around that house oh this is a debt house oh this is bad this and no, no. what what sort of feel you have while living in that house you get the point right some people spend but after spending they will not be able to enjoy that and what energy energetic transaction you have or the discussion you have with that right so think of all the time when you don't like yourself very much when you compare the way you spend money and that's reflecting you because you want to feel content and happy with yourself whatever happens and then once you have that automatically it will start you know showing up so if there is a self value so oh, wow like you know whatever i have the kind of you know meditation inside i mean she is putting in a different word so beautifully if self value plus object value equal to price then only buy if self value is lower object value is higher then don't buy it if your self value and the object's value is less than the price don't buy it if the value what you put on yourself and the value what you perceive from the thing you want to buy for the equal price what it is so basically you know to the buying decision also depends on your energy for example while attending this session if i am not sharing with energy then this is not going to take if you are not coming with that energy of receiving then it's not going to get in that's why we say that you know we set this code of honor we set the you know right expectation or set the intention you know all those are a kind of you know set up work in a way that you know it will be really received that energy flow will happen yeah you, know, you remember we talk about flow all the time so even money flow is also is like a blood flow is also like a breath flow because there's also energy and what energy we have around money matters yeah same so maybe in another <laughs> couple more insights i'll share and then you know we'll conclude today's session so you can just look into it you can see in the screen this is the book love money money loves you i highly recommend and uh, it was recommended by one of my friends um uh, ramya i'm thankful for her in sharing about this book all right so 
then you know the book talks about your desire for that and um, uh, say said before you know there is no limit for the money and uh, even while asking for money for example asking for a raise and uh, when you do some sort of you know business uh, transaction you have a thing and then it ask confidently you put that don't be afraid of it don't put yourself low yeah um then how that money and happiness go hand in hand how we can really increase basically you level up you level up your game of uh, that life is always expanding right when the awareness expands life expands so we should not go in the shrinking mind we should always go in the expanding mind so the principle is is always you know infinite available and we for to have that you want to have that infinite happiness infinite content infinite uh, uh, energy at our uh, individual level yeah so if you can really understand the money better it shows that you have understood your energy better you understood the universe energy better you understand other also better so you want to be so grateful for all that we have in our lives if you really just close i mean open your eyes and then look around things anything and everything has come to you everything has its price okay so sometimes maybe certain thing has been given to you as a gift but doesn't mean that there is no price or there is no cost to it right? everything has its cost it means everybody putting their time efforts their learning like you said you know time is much more valuable yeah all right uh, so the same way like you know about uh, how we enjoy how we expand yeah the author talks about it then it talks about uh, um, in your partnership so do you really notice the inspiration enthusiasm in that in that sort of you know company when you accompany that new idea or when you work on that uh, benefits of whatever the money has created in you so in author's own words right so please my dear human beings think of us from time to time inhabiting what you call empty space we are with you we are guiding you we are bringing you money we are making you rich listen to our ideas and make them your own and act on them freely and with enjoyment you will see great riches come to you as a result so in future even the way you keep the money the way you respect the money the way you really touch and have that feel that money how many of you are doing this um, exercise we so as part of our angel coaching one thing we say that you know the relationship between money right so you have the what is it like the daily tracking of your money the budgeting you have not will have one more session dedicated session around how to do the budgeting sometime in future so and even like using the piggy bank encouraging kids to put money every day and even you are putting it every day and seeing it grow yeah we'll do some practical activities also in future yeah all right yeah due to the time you know we'll just conclude here but uh, the idea is not to give the entire book but at least to inspire to the book that you know how we can really do it uh, it also talks about a lot of things around you know how we can really remove that money block we did multiple session here but in future also we'll do so there are different way you not need to understand that you know if that money is blocked you need to see how we can really fix it how we can really unblock it um through the way of your own inner work um stop stopping you we say right start the starting so so that way uh, i hope you all found this book break through useful yeah maybe we'll take maybe one or two feedback and then we'll conclude today's session
yeah, feel free to post in the chat box also. All right, how was it, Avindya, Prema? All right, even if any of you do not um, get or remember the complete thing, at least remember this title of the book, <laughs> Love Money, Money Loves You. Yeah. I love money, money loves me. So that can be your affirmation um, that everything is energy. People are energy. Things are energy. Our experience is energy. The same way money also is an energy. And the more and more we have the right understanding, right mindset about it, not that as we have always been taught that, you know, the people who are rich are not bad, not all. It depends on with whom that money is. Yeah. And if we are good, you want to handle the money good in a way that it can bring a lot more goodness to us and each of our lives and the life around us also. Right, with that note, we'll conclude. Yeah. Until see you again, chin up, cheer up, and keep signing. See you all in the